Hello and welcome back. In today's Black Excellus presentation, we will highlight 22 habits of the rich and successful. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we celebrate Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Let's be clear. We recognize and believe in the maxim that happiness is the measure of true wealth. There is physical wealth, spiritual wealth, lifestyle wealth, and intellectual wealth. However, we produce this video for the audience that's interested in wealth as defined by an abundance of valuable possessions, assets, investments, and money. Intelligence, talent, and charm are great. But more often than not, these aren't what separate the rich from the poor. Instead, the differences are in our daily habits. We each possess a financial blueprint, that is, an internal script that dictates our mentality towards success and wealth. The good news is that we can alter our blueprints through lifelong habits that can be learned and adopted. It's possible to be successful and poor. It's also possible to be rich and a failure. We are not poor shaming. We are simply giving some guidance and recommendations on how to reach the pinnacle of financial success, if you so choose to make that your goal. In this original Black Excellus video, we will be featuring the 22 habits of the rich and successful. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. Rich people live within their means Rich people avoid overspending and they absolutely hate debt. The wealthy develop reasonable budgets and stick to them at all costs. 2. Rich people read every day Wealthy people tend to believe in the importance of self-improvement and continuing education, and they believe that can be achieved by reading and consuming information. 3. Rich people watch a less than an hour of TV a day Successful people use their free time engaging in personal development, networking, volunteering, working side jobs, or pursuing goals that will lead to rewards down the road. Rich people simply choose more productive ways to spend their time than watching TV or on social media. 4. Rich people control their emotions and communicate effectively. Successful people subscribe to the notion that not every thought needs to come out of their mouth and not every emotion needs to be expressed. They understand that uncontrollable emotions can destroy both personal and business relationships. They also find value in education in listening to what others have to say. 5. Rich people are very involved in charities. Charity and philanthropy are hallmarks of the wealthy, and they understand that you build valuable relationships through them. Successful people tend to be generous with their wealth and love giving back to the community with their money and volunteering time. 6. Rich people network regularly. The wealthy understand that in order to be successful, you must surround yourself with successful people. Whether it's through various social events, club activities, or professional gatherings, rich people find opportunities to network with go-getters, people with drive, and trailblazers. 7. Rich people have a purpose and set goals. For the wealthy, setting specific goals and writing them down is a winning habit that works. These goals are actionable, quantifiable, and very deliberate, as the wealthy are dedicated goal-setters. Not to mention, they know what they're doing and, more importantly, why they're doing it. 8. Rich people value their time Wealthy people avoid wasting time on non-productive activities and tasks. The wealthy focus on how much they should be earning by the hour and put a priority on their passions. If they are not working towards their goals, they are recharging or spending valuable time with family and loved ones. 9. Rich people keep a daily to-do list In order to attain wealth, you need to accomplish a number of small goals that feed into the main objective. These baby steps towards success start with a list of action items that's managed on a daily basis. 10. Rich people do not procrastinate Successful people understand that procrastination impairs quality. It creates dissatisfied employers, customers, or clients. And quite often, it damages personal and business relationships and taints your brand. 11. Rich people work hard and go above and beyond. Wealthy people reject the it's not my job syndrome. They put in countless hours while earning the mutual respect of their colleagues, building their brand, or solidifying the trust of their customers. They work longer, smarter, and harder than everyone else in the room. If you love our videos and have a suggestion for a future edition, let us hear from you in the comments section below. 12. Rich people avoid toxic people and negativity. We are only as successful as the people we spend the most time with. Thus, successful people limit their exposure to negativity, gossip, and naysayers. 
Rich people ignore opinions that are not pressured by the mainstream or culture norms. Their laser-sharp focus is on positivity and productivity. 13. Rich people are very persistent and don't give up. Those who are successful have three things in common. Focus, patience, and persistence. They simply do not quit chasing their big goals. 14. Rich people have mentors. Mentors can regularly and actively participate in your growth by teaching you what to do and what not to do. Finding such a teacher is one of the best and least painful ways to learn lessons. Once you have determined your goals, it's best to find someone who has already achieved them and seek guidance with them. 15. Rich people wake up early. Rising early is a powerful path to success. Wealthy people simply do not sleep in because they have too much to accomplish. Some use early morning hours for exercising, meditating, writing in a journal, reading something educational, or getting a head start. 16. Rich people eat healthy and exercise regularly. Coupled with healthy eating, rich people believe in staying fit. They value their health and structure their eating habits accordingly while carving out time to work out. 17. Rich people realize they can't succeed on their own. Wealthy people aren't shy about asking for help when they need answers or assistance when working towards their goals. They tend to lean on a small group of trusted advisors and knowledgeable friends to which they can turn to for information and advice. They are good at forming teams of people who operate well together. 18. Rich people understand money is a long game. The majority of rich people recognize that there is no reliable way to get rich quick. They also believe that almost anyone can get rich slowly if the right things, like saving, are done over a long period of time. 19. Rich people outsource, outsource, and outsource. Wealthy people are aware of where their skills and talents lie, and they play to their strengths. They also know when it's more economical, time-consuming, and quality-conscious to delegate or hire someone who's much better. Outsourcing and delegating enables you to better utilize your time in another area or at a task that will make more money. 20. Rich people realize the importance of recharging. Successful people do not allow themselves to become overwhelmed. They dedicate time to self-renewal in their physical life, social life, mental life, and spiritual life. This is achieved by exercise and proper nutrition, spending time with family and friends, reading and education, or church and meditation. 21. Rich people have created multiple streams of income. Rich people like to create a hedge against failure and poverty. When one stream suffers, the others come to the rescue. 22. Rich people create their own luck. They act boldly, seizing opportunities where others might hesitate. They have shifted their mindset to accept that mistakes, and sometimes failure, is inevitable. But they treat them as stepping stones to success. They adapt. They evolve. They take calculated risks. They always find a way to reach a better future. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow. Well, VIPs, you know me, I love doing research, and when I stumble across an article that I know we need to talk about, well, I'm going to bring it to you. Why? Because that's what we do. We share this information. And so if you're out there and you stumble across an article that you want to hear me talk about or get riled up and rant on, I want you to send it to us. Uh, the email address is ask at chrishogan360.com. Just put the link of the article in there, put it in the subject line, put Hogan rant or Hogan cheer or whatever it is, let me know. But I came across this article and uh, because, well, this is one that I have done. Uh, it was talking about kind of millionaire habits, five simple habits. And if you've not been to my website, chrishogan360.com, hop on over there. There's information and content for you to be able to check out. Why? When we learn, we can grow. I mean, that's just the bottom line. And so we've got to get information. But I'll share this with you. You know, in talking about one of the richest men in the world, Warren Buffett, why in the world does he continue to live in a, in a house that he's lived in for 31 years? The value of the home is around 31500 This man can pay cash for whatever house he wants, anywhere he wants. Why? Because he can. 
But there's some habits that these millionaires live by, being being aware of things and really staying in control. And so I want to share some of those with you because a lot of people see millionaires as a person leaning up against a fancy car, right, uh, in, a, in a slick suit or a slick dress, and that's just not reality. These millionaires have some habits, and I want to share them with you. Number one, they're avid readers, Millionaires are readers. They're not plucked in in front of a TV just vegging out, watching who got voted off the island or who can dance the best. No, they're reading books. Why? Because they're trying to learn information that they can use in their lives to be able to grow. And so reading is really, really important. It's how we stretch our minds. It's how we start to see things and on a different level and really understanding how things work. And so the more I talk to people out there that have hit everyday millionaire status, they tell me how many books they're reading. They're typically reading two to three a month, right? And it doesn't mean that they can't watch some TV. You get my point. They're averaging less than six hours a, a week of TV, where most people are averaging close to 12 hours a week of TV a day, right? I mean, because they're just tuned out. So I want you to zero in and be aware of what it is you're chasing, and reading is a great place to start. Another thing these millionaires do is they understand delayed gratification, and all that means is simply saying not yet, being aware that, hey, yeah, there are some things that we can strive toward to be able to get to, but I don't have to do everything right now. You see, that's what lends itself to the credit card industry. Because in the credit card industry, they're counting on people not being able to say no, not being able to wait and save up and pay cash. They want people to want it right now. And guess what? They get to benefit because when you do something right now, you get a chance to pay them interest later. So delayed gratification is number two. Number three, they stay away from debt. Millionaires know that, listen, if I have debt, I'm paying somebody else interest, right? I'm being penalized for using someone else's money. That's not the deal. I understand how to count, and I'm going to slow down and be very intentional, and they pay cash for stuff. It doesn't mean that they can't go have fun and go do some things. When they go do it, they do it with cash. And a lot of people have told me, oh, well, that's just, that's not possible. It's not possible to pay cash for a car. You kidding me? Yes, it is, too. You set that money aside in a bank account month in and month out, and when you get ready to to change cards or if it's time to, you go to the bank and you get the money out or you get a cashier's check and you go buy that car. It can be done, right? Yeah, it can. And see, the shifting of our mindset allows us to start to think a little bit differently so we can see things for what's possible. You can buy a car with cash. And millionaires know, hey, it's okay to take a vacation. It's okay to have some fun, but we're doing it with cash. They don't get caught up in counting credit card points, which we all know is just a ripoff. Another thing, millionaires budget, right? Budgeting gives us control. It allows us to tell our money where to go instead of wondering where it went. And we've got an opportunity to be able to do that. You guys have heard me talk about every dollar. It's the best budgeting tool on the planet. All you got to do is go to everydollar.com and you can get a free version of that. Or there's an upgraded version that will attach to your bank account. You've got an opportunity to be able to learn, right? And to be able to be in control of your money. And it's amazing. When you do a budget, you actually have freedom to spend. You don't have to stress, and you get intentional, but you've worked too hard for your money to not make your money work for you. And so you are the money boss. I talk about that in my book, Retire Inspired. Being a money boss means that you're in control. That means you're the one that's calling the shot. Finally, guess what else millionaires do? They give. Giving is huge. You know, a majority of these Uh, millionaires told me that they set aside money each and every month to be able to give to charities and causes that they believe in. I don't think it's an accident that you have people that are being successful that have a heart to be able to help and desire to want to help others. That's not an accident. That's something we need to do. We need to have that mindset. And especially around this time of year, I want you to find a waiter or waitress or someone that you can be a blessing to by giving. Having that opportunity to just do something generous. And I want you to leave a great tip. I want you to leave a big tip uh, every chance that you get. And watch what happens, especially when you do it and you leave real quick and you get somewhere where you can watch. Watch the look on their faces, right? We're called to, 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 we're blessed to be a blessing to others. And when we put ourselves in a position to become everyday millionaires, well, we've opened up the opportunity to be able to be a blessing to other people as well. So again, the five simple habits of the average millionaire. We'll put a link to this in the show notes. Those of you that are watching on YouTube, just click the link below. This is one of the things from my website. But again, real quick, those five habits. 
Number one, they're avid reach at, they're avid readers. Number two, they understand delayed gratification. Number three, they stay away from debt. Number four, they budget. And number five, they give. You be sure to check those out and start to apply them in your life right now, today. And I hope that this can also inspire you to just like broaden your revenue streams, income streams, and try to just have more sources of income so you can just depend on it more. So as promised, I wanted to make this my many streams, 13 streams of income video. And so I will break down all my income streams. And for like personal safety reasons, I do not want to reveal how much I make from each stream because I don't want, you know, bad people to to look at me as like a high net worth person and like target me and try to scam my money and things like that because honestly like safety is first. So I hope you guys understand, but I am going to break down how how many ways, like the many ways that I make money. And so number one is from my main job and a lot of people are like, uh, how do I differentiate between like a main hustle and a side hustle? How I differentiate it is your main hustle should be able to pay for all your bills and it should be very stable. It should be like, um, what do you call it? Like stable, reliable, and you spend the most time. And for me, it happens to be my corporate job. And uh, that is my number one source of income. Number two is definitely YouTube. So you're watching me right now and from YouTube, YouTube, there's ad revenue and even though it's not very reliable or uh, dependable it is still money uh, income coming in and it really varies it re really varies on your views and as you know like YouTube income is really about views than about anything else and so YouTube views the more views you get the probably the more income you get. And so other than YouTube, there's also number three, which is Robinhood Dividend. Robinhood Dividend is basically the dividend that my stocks pay me and Robinhood is a commission fl <laughs> Robinhood is a commission-free platform where you can buy individual stocks. So let's say you really like using Facebook and you're like, oh, let me invest in Facebook. So Robinhood makes it super easy for you to invest in Facebook and you can buy it per share. So you can buy like a share of Facebook, a share of Google, a share of, I don't know, whatever, like Tesla, other companies that you're interested in. And so this is a really good way for you to easily invest in companies that you're interested in and especially in the companies uh, in which your services you use very often then you know the company very well naturally and my fourth stream of income is my savings interest and so I really strongly recommend you to get a savings account with high interest rate the one I have right now is above 2% which is like a norm for a high interest rate savings account the savings account I had before was from Bank of America and it had like less than I don't know less than 1% or something ridiculously low. And so I highly strongly suggest you to get a bank account with high interest rate and that is my fourth stream of income. And the bank I use is Discover, not pay by them, but I just like using them because they give me a pretty high interest rate. And I know there are better rates out there, but I'm just like too lazy to get those like it was 0 0.001 like more interest rate. And so that's my fourth stream of income. My fifth stream of income is bank bonuses. So I also talk about this in my free money videos. Bank bonuses, it is pretty substantial when you do it often because each time is like $200, $300, $400 and it really adds up. You can easily get like $1,000 from just opening new accounts. And unlike opening credit cards, this does not pull up your credit score so you don't have to worry about, you know, having a low credit score because of banks checking your credit score because having a savings account or checking account it has nothing to do with your credit score it's not like having a credit card and so um the the bonuses that i got are from uh, discover discover savings account and chase savings and checking account i believe this offer they still have and then there is also the wells fargo uh i believe that is the checking is it it's probably the checking account there's also the Capital One Money Market 360. Uh, that is, it's kind of, I don't even know if it's like a checking or savings, but it is just an account where you put your money in. And then there is also 
card referral bonuses. So if you refer a credit card, let's say Amex Gold Card or Amex Platinum Card, you get certain uh, card referral bonuses. And so I also strongly, strongly recommend you to take advantage of this because you can easily, easily get your so-called um, annual fee waived because each time you refer a card, that gives you a substantial amount of bonuses probably in the form of points, but points can easily be transferred to cover your um, spending. So it just works out. And number seven is Amazon affiliate. And so you probably know a lot of YouTubers and bloggers, they have those Amazon links and those Amazon links are Amazon affiliate links. And so when you click into those links and you buy products, you usually will um, get a certain percentage of commission that gets paid to the YouTuber or blogger or whoever owns that link. And uh, what's good about this is that even if you don't buy that product, like the product itself that the blogger or YouTuber is linking to, even if you just click into it and you buy something else in your cart or you click into it and you forget about it and within 24 hours you buy something from Amazon or that website, then the blogger or YouTuber gets paid. So it doesn't have to be that specific item. You just have to click into the link. You don't have to pay anything additional, by the way. You just click into the link and then within 24 hours you buy anything from that same website, then the blogger or YouTuber will get paid. And number eight is for my side projects such as video editing or photography. And so these two are just two of the side projects that I do as like just for fun and also for money as like side hustles. Number nine is investment gains and I can talk about this more in depth because I feel like there is a lot more to this but um there is Robinhood investment gains, there is 401k, there is Roth IRA and there is also my rollover IRA for my previous company so I can talk about these in detail if you guys are interested. Number 10 is Audible so you probably know a lot of other YouTubers they have those Audible links so if you click into it you get two audiobooks for free and the youtuber or blogger whoever gives you those links that person also gets a certain um, amount of money I believe it's like $15 per successful register and so if you want to support my channel be sure to use the audible link in my info box so you can help support my channel without paying anything out of pocket because you can just cancel your membership before it charges you and 11 is from selling my belongings on like Facebook marketplace or just selling it in general General, selling bags, selling the clothes that I own, and so this is the 11th source of income. 12 is from Teespring. As you may know, I do have a t-shirt line and it's called Live Your Ideal Life Right Now. I strongly, strongly believe in this. I believe that you should always just repeat this mantra to yourself over and over again and reevaluate your life. Are you living your ideal life right now? If yes, then that's good. But most of the time, we we know we're not living our ideal life. And then so we have to think to ourselves, how do we live our ideal life? What are the things that I can do so that I can live my ideal life? What are the things or people that I have to get rid of for me to live my ideal life? So I believe this is so, 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 so crucial. And um, it, even if you don't buy my t-shirt, like honestly, just keep this in the back of your mind. But I made t-shirts with that theme because it's just something that I really strongly believe in and I just want to share this with other people and this is like a constant reminder that you should live your ideal life at all times. And 13 is New Skin. So New Skin is a brand, a website, a brand that creates a lot of machines and also just skincare related things and also healthcare related things. And I really like using their Lumi Spa, the machine. And so that's why I registered to be their like distributor. I think that's the word they use it. But honestly, I did not get into this with the means of like trying to make money. I got into this because I used their product. I was a customer at first and I was a customer for like three months until I decided to join as their affiliate and so I am not trying to like promote this and be like oh you should make money like this but I'm just sharing all these like revenue sources, income sources, how I make money, my 13 ways to make money. But other than the 13 revenue streams, I am also looking into more revenue streams. One is live streaming. Live streaming is a revenue stream that I used to have and uh, how it works is that I live stream and then people send virtual gifts that turn into the points in the app or in the system on the platform and it can in turn turn into revenue. I stopped doing that because it is very time consuming but this is still a really valid and pretty lucrative space 
that people can explore. I just stopped doing that because I do have a full-time job and I am doing YouTube as pretty much another full-time thing because I upload every single day, so I edit every single day and I produce a lot of content and this is just very time consuming. Um, Money-wise, live streaming is actually more lucrative because I guess the nature of it is just more lucrative and YouTube is actually not very lucrative until you become big, until you get like millions of views. And so when you are really thinking about making money, I would say live streaming is the way to go. YouTube not so much because it takes a long time to build your channel and it is not guaranteed whether or not you will have a sustainable income from YouTube. And another thing that I used to do is work with brands with their services and products and these are the so-called sponsor videos and I know a lot of YouTubers do this but lately I've been really um, stopping with that just because it's actually quite difficult and time consuming to find a product and service that you're actually very happy about. And so that's why I stopped working with brands with their products and services. But if I do run into a product and service that I actually enjoy using, I will consider doing a sponsored video. And also since I'm trying to grow my channel, I felt that having like a lot of sponsored videos can prevent me from growing my channel because there is the I guess the whole sell out notion and it, it just it's not a very good rep and so I'm trying to just uh, keep it low key and have less like little to no sponsored videos so I can build my channel and I can be more uh, genuine but no matter what even if I take on sponsored videos in the future those will be my true true opinion honest opinion I will never ever rave about a product that I am not satisfied with and so you can be completely sure about that I'm just a very uh open book like I don't like to hide things I don't like to deceive my viewers and I don't want to ruin my own reputation so these two are the revenue streams I used to have but stopped doing. I hope these would help you and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. I also have a lot of money saving hacks and tips in my info box. Be sure to check those out and I will see you in my next video. Bye!